like and subscribe right now or you're going to have bad luck for the rest of the week. Contrary to what you may believe, the world is not only populated by cute and fuzzy animals, there are pretty strange ones out there also. Many of these creatures live in thick forests, and unless you're a researcher, you may never have seen them in your life. So, it's hard to believe that these peculiar creatures actually do exist. Today, we are looking at 10 of such animals that will baffle you. Number 10. The Hummingbird Hawk Moth That's three animals in one name. Keeping up with the confusing naming conventions scientists are not fond of, I present to you the Hummingbird Hawk Moth a hummingbird-sized insect that looks and behaves like a hummingbird, but is definitely a moth. Once you've seen a hummingbird hawk moth and its impressive proboscis darting out from the flower to flower, it's easy to understand why many think they're actually a bird. Indeed, quite apart from hovering like the exotic hummingbird, this confusing insect clearly looks as if it has tail feathers. Where most moths have a tapered abdomen, the hawk moth's inch-long curved proboscis, which uncoils as they feed, allows it to suck up nectar from flowers that have a long corolla, such as honeysuckle, giving this moth a clear advantage over other nectar-guzzling insects. Furthermore, these whizzy hummingbird impressionists are clever as they remember to revisit high nectar-yielding plants. Number 9. The Cow Killer Ever heard of a cow killer? Probably not, and there's a good reason for this. Cow killers are some of the most dangerous insects in the world. With such a nasty sting, you'll probably be crying to your mama for hours nonstop if you come across a cow killer colony. Cow killers are actually ants, velvet ants to be exact. And while they seem to have a cute color combination that you'd probably consider for your living room, they ain't no pushovers. So it's best to avoid them, especially if you live in the southern part of Maryland. Okay, so maybe a couple of stings from them are not lethal, but if you accidentally step on one cow killer, the dead ant's body will release chemical signals in its venom gland, triggering an alarm pheromone. This will mobilize the entire colony for a group attack. And that's when things can go south really fast, especially if you have a suppressed or compromised immune system, because not only do stings hurt, they might just cost you your life. Number 8. The Boxer Crab You might have seen many weird defense mechanisms in the animal kingdom, but we are sure you haven't heard of this one. The pom-pom boxer crabs are like any other crabs, with the addition of boxing gloves. And when do they get these gloves, you may ask? Well, they use sea anemone, a predatory animal that almost looks like a plant. You see, the relationship between these two is very unusual, but heartwarming. These crabs pick up and use the anemone in each claw. This colorful display serves as a natural deterrent to predators, and when directly threatened, the crab will utilize the sea anemone in a forward punching movement towards the aggressor, hence the name the boxer crab. The sea anemone's stinging tentacles serve as the ultimate defense mechanism for the crab. In exchange for this amazing defense, boxer crabs feed their helpful partners. What an unusual but amazing friendship. Number 7. The Fossa The elusive fossa is one of those animals that are indigenous to Madagascar, and like most animals living in Madagascar, it is a unique creature that kind of has an identity crisis. You see, the fossa's closest living relative is the mongoose, but aside from sharing a common lineage, the two animals have virtually nothing in common. You see, the fossa was initially mistaken for a species of cat. When you examine a fossa, you'll find out that it's really easy to mistake. Its shape is definitely cat-like, although its muzzle does resemble that of a dog. They also have the retractable claws of a cat and feline-like teeth. It is the largest carnivore and thus the top predator in Madagascar, where it is equally at home on the ground or high up in the trees, where it uses its long tail to balance as it climbs from branch to branch. From mice to even wild pigs, it eats just about anything it could get its sharp claws in. But it mostly hunts lemur, which is yet another creature native to Madagascar. Number 6. The Red Imported Fire Ant just by the sound of the name, you know you're heading into the frying pan if you come across these insects right here. 
Since the early 1930s, Americans in the Southwest have battled the fiery stings of fury that these ants unleash upon them. And the worst thing about it all, their northern invasion has already begun. You might be happily pruning leaves in your backyard to suddenly discover a colony of fire ants just awaiting to give you a nasty surprise. Although a bite from one of these creatures probably won't kill you, they're known to be some of the most aggressive insects in the world. These guys will destroy anything in their path. Still not scared? Well, this might just shock the living daylights out of you. In the mid-1970s, the USDA tried to eradicate the fire ant menace in Florida by flooding ant colonies with water using fire hoses. Know what the ants did? They formed a watertight ball protecting the queen as they floated off to safety. Now that is dedication. At one point in time, the invasion in Texas was so bad that the ants were spewing out air conditioning hospital vents and biting into patients' IVs. Patients were dying by the numbers. Some nurses were even accused of murder and served jail time before the real cause was identified. Number 5. The Whole Fin If you're trying to wrap your head around this name, you need a clue. The clue is staring you in the face. A whale, a dolphin. Bring these two creatures of the sea together, and you have a whole fin. This animal has been a source of seafaring legends for centuries and was popularly called the Great Grey Beast. The creature results from the accidental mating of a female bottlenose dolphin and a male false killer whale. Kekamalu is the world's first surviving whole fin, and after two years, she equaled her mother's size. This animal's head resembles a killer whale, but the fins and nose are that of the dolphins. Their size is impressive as they can grow up to 22 feet long and 600 pounds in weight. They do not become independent parents until they are 9 years old or more. A baby whole fin depends on her mother's milk until they are 9 months or more. The accidental mating of two different creatures led to an animal's existence with a lifespan of about 40 years. Number 4. Blister Beetles The proof is in the pudding. If this creepy crawler right here stings you, you're probably ending up in the hospital. Blister beetles release a compound called cantharidin. While it might only cause a dermatitis reaction when it comes into contact with skin, the compound can also result in the destruction of the digestive tract lining. Plus, high concentrations of it in your system will probably lead to death, so it's probably wise to keep your distance if you happen to come across a blister beetle. Number 3. Mangalista Pig Enough has been said about wolves in sheep's clothing. It's time to consider what a pig in sheep's clothing would look like. This unique pig is woolly and was discovered in the 19th century. Unfortunately, they did not become famous until the 20th and 21st centuries gained momentum. It is one of the fattest pig species on Earth, with 65-70% to 70 of its carcass containing fat. The lean meat is only about 30% compared to what is obtained in over 50% of modern breeds. If that's not enough, its meat is judged to be the tastiest pork in the world. Why is this animal almost extinct now? Because it is a lard-type pig. Its fat was used for cooking, making candles, cosmetics, and soap. Thanks to Peter Toth, Hungarian animal genetics, Mangalista is having a comeback. The scientists launched a breeding program to bring them back to the limelight. Today, there are over 160 breeding sites in Hungary and other countries like the US. Number 2. Sea Cucumbers You must be thinking, sea cucumbers sound like an adorable name. What is this doing on this list? Well, it does sound cute, but they also look like they're the least intimidating creatures you will ever see in your life. But if a sea cucumber is attacked, or at least feels threatened, it has all manner of defense mechanisms to ensure its survival. Their ability sounds like something out of a Marvel comic book. First off, they can change from a solid form to a liquid form, allowing them to escape into the tiniest of cracks. They can also disassemble themselves into many tiny pieces, fooling any would-be predator that they are already dead. Then reassemble themselves when the danger has passed. But the most impressive and deadly thing about them is their defense mechanism. They can expel their guts through their anus, exposing their toxic intestines to the attacker, giving it a mouthful of poison as a fitting punishment for attacking this seemingly harmless creature. Number 1. Hagfish 
Do you know anyone who is 300 million years old? We guess not. Most of the animals that old have perished, let alone humans, but there is one creature that old who lurks in the bottom of the ocean. The hagfish is one of the ugliest and oldest creatures found in water. Its body is made up of smooth velvet skin with no scales, and it has a skull with no spine. Its wrinkled skin might look disgusting to you, but the weirdest feature of the hagfish is its mouth, which looks like it's out of some Alien vs. Predator movie. The hagfish has one of the most interesting and distinguishing defense mechanisms out there. When dealing with a threat, it releases a nasty slime. The slime sends the predator into fits as it coughs up the substance, trying to prevent suffocation, which usually leaves enough time for the slimy eel to escape. This is what 300 million years of evolution does to you. Which one of these animals did you already know about? And what was the most interesting? Let us know in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel.